Hey everyone, this is Christina from The Merch Money Show. And in this short video, I wanna take a few minutes to show you a great free resource um, for uh, obtaining interior files for Amazon's Kindle Direct Publishing. Uh, often referred to as KDP. Um, so you'll see that acronym a lot in the groups. So um, I am out at the BookBolt site and BookBolt is a tool from the creators of Merchant Former. Um, so uh, if you're familiar with Neil Lassen, uh, this is one of his tools and uh, we have Neil to thank for this free resource as well. So um, BookBolt is um, primarily um, designed for helping you do research, um, you know, create covers and automating the process of uploading uh, low content slash no content types of books to KDP. Now, um, you don't even have to be um, a member or have a subscription to BookBolt to use this free resource, though. So um, what you'll do is come here uh, to the BookBolt site and at the top where it says resources, drop that down and click interior wizard. Um, and here you'll click on interior wizard again, and it's gonna pull this screen up and uh, you will select which one you want. So as you can see, once I select it, it makes the top blue here. So I know that I've selected that particular interior. Um, you've got a ton of free options here. Um, so, you know, take a look at these. Um, some of the really basic ones that a lot of people start with are college ruled, wide ruled journal, blank page with numbers, um, you know, different things like that. Um, you can select bleed or no bleed, which right now that doesn't mean anything to you. Uh, but a lot of times I just select no bleed. It'll be an option that you will uh, select when you're uploading to KDP, it's gonna ask you if your interior has bleed or no bleed. So um, just whichever one you select, you'll wanna select that same option once you're uploading the file. And here is where you'll drop down all of the sizes. So um, a lot of people tend to start with six by nine and 120 page count. Um, so uh, you'll see here, um, that's very typical for like journals and things of that nature. Now, um, as you get more experienced with KDP, you're gonna want to um, sort of customize each one for that audience. So, um, you know, the scuba diving journal, for example, that might be a little bit small, uh, potentially for a scuba diving journal. I really don't know, honestly. So I would take a look and see uh, what sizes my competition is doing um, for a comic book that may also be kind of small. Um, I know that that would be, you know, a normal like size that you would read a comic book at. But if someone is drawing um, their own comic, you might want to go with a larger size. Again, you'll want to research, you know, those those individual things. Um, and uh, you might want to go smaller for some of them, like a fishing logbook. That might be something that someone's taking with them out on a boat, something like that. You might go want to go with like a five by eight potentially, if that's going to be something they, you know, might want to try to put in their pocket or something. So, at any rate, you'll select your options. You'll put in your page count. You'll click download, and it's just that easy. Uh, once you get to this sheet. Then you're gonna click download again, at least in my case. Now yours may just directly download. Um, and I've got a file here that says KDP interiors. The awesome thing about this, uh, this free resource is it also saves that information for you. So it tells me that this is a music sheet. It's six by nine. It has 120 pages and I selected no bleed. So that's gonna help me when I go to upload this file onto KDP, I don't have to try to figure out this information. It's already saved that for me. So I just click save and that's all there is to it. So just wanted to, again, share this free resource with you. Um, it's an awesome 
tool um, that uh, Neil has so graciously um, allowed the community to use for free. So I encourage you to take advantage of this and uh, get out there and upload your first book to KDP. Thanks for watching.